Assalamu alaikum. I'm your host, Dr. Bilal Phillips, to the mailbag, this portion of the show. And in this segment, uh, we'll be looking at the questions which you have written in, called in, uh, to get answered uh, based on what you've seen on the show and what you think we might be able to help you with. So without any further delay, I'm going to go straight into your questions. The first question that's come in uh, basically asks uh, for proof that Islam is the truth. Give me one proof that Islam is the truth. Well, one proof, for, at least for those people who believe in uh, Christianity, etc., where we believe that Adam and Eve were the first human beings, um, one proof would be to say that the religion of Adam and Eve was Islam. We can't say the religion was Christianity, because we know Christianity didn't come around until the time of Christ, or Judaism, or Buddhism, or anything else. If we ask ourselves what was the religion of Adam and Eve, the only conclusion we can come to really was the religion of Islam. Why? Because you might say, well, of course, uh, Islam came around at the time of Muhammad. May God's peace and blessings be upon him and upon all of the prophets. But the fact of the matter is that though the last expression of Islam was in the time of Muhammad, may God's peace be upon him, it was the same message which was taught by all of the earlier prophets. And when God created Adam and Eve and put them in the garden, he gave them one basic instruction, to worship God by obeying him that they could eat from all of the f trees in the garden except for one tree. And they were obliged not to eat from that tree. They were obliged to submit their wills to the will of God and to accept God's command. That was their religion. That was the essence of what was required of them in that phase. Now, submission of one's will to God in Arabic is called Islam. So Islam really has nothing to do with Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, per se, in that sense. The final message which has been uncorrupted, which has reached us from 1,400 years ago, as the last dispensation of Islam, yes, that was brought by Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him. But it was the same message of all of the prophets. That's what we had for today. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you in another segment of The Mailbag.